Hello, and welcome to, or welcome back, to some more PC Building Simulator 2, uh, and my job here at KD Acres. Uh, so, uh, yesterday, uh, our last episode, we were building a couple of things. Uh, I got some parts, I got some things kind of cleared out of here. Um, I think uh, this one i just gotten in. Uh, I ordered a bunch of parts for this one. This one's so dirty. <laughs> so, so bad. Uh, so, if you ever get one that's, like, just gray like this, uh, what you do is you install, you go to your tools, uh, and you go to compressed air, and you go, and just, you can blow all of it out. And it gives you a little cleaning out, dust thing, and it makes it all nice and pretty again. We'll get all that stuff cleaned out. Uh, there you go. All nice and, nice, nice and done. Once you get it kind of close enough, it'll, it'll knock everything out. Uh, this one's still got some broken parts in it. I think I got all the parts I needed ordered. Um, and then I have a couple of emails here. Uh, so we have one uh, needs a uh, drive clone. It's all new ADATA SU 650 480 gig or better, right? So that's fine. Uh, so we'll go ahead and accept that. So we need a ultimate SU 650 480. Okay. So that one's going to have us walk through some stuff. So we'll go to storage, go to SSD, uh, ADATA, like this guy right here. We'll go ahead and do this guy, and then down here, connect it to that one. Now we find. Uh, we'll go back to our email, and this one wants us. Hi, my name is Aiden. I'm number one uh, animal fan in the world. I have a uh, PC that used to play games, Baby Tycoon. It's my favorite, and it's pretty uh, great because my sister built it for me, and she knows all about computers. But the new expansion I just bought, Mark Mayhem, doesn't work on it. It really annoyed me. I looked it up online. Apparently, the PC is the uh, need. And benchmark 2000 be able to play it properly. So, hand, uh, upgrade my so, uh, so we can do that. Perhaps, uh, I can't wait to play it. <laughs> Aiden, age 39, our precious director of royal security for animal protection and care. Please don't tell my sister that I need to upgrade the PC she built for me. She would be sad. Um, so these, uh, the 3D Mark Time Spy score of 2000, it yeah, so jobs required to use 3D benchmark part, uh, ranking app to help improve the performance of the customer's PC to match their desired benchmark. You need to install the apps on the PC, verify the email carefully, find out what they need. All right, so we'll get both of those guys coming in. Uh, and then we're just going to go to the next day. And then we'll start getting some parts in. Uh, we'll end, end the day. Oh, are you sure you have unpurchased parts? Nope, I don't want to end the day. You were right. You are right. I, I I need to order. I need to order that. I need the drive. All right. Now now we'll try to exit the day. Good job, game. Protecting me from my own silly mistakes. I appreciate it. That is good, though. I, I, I didn't know that it would do that, but I'm glad it does. Uh-oh. Now we're thinking. I just loaded you, game. You can't be that busy. All right, so now we have a bunch of spare parts, and um, I actually ordered a bunch of spare things. Uh, so I a bunch of spare fans, a bunch of pair, spare power supplies, all kinds of crazy stuff. Uh, so uh, we will get into well, this we'll do these two real quick, and then we'll do that back there. Uh, we, we will continue to do that. So we're going to install this. So this one's a little bit weird because what you need to do is you put it down. Uh, what we're going to do is install uh, a data ultimate uh, better clone OS2 SSD, right? Uh, and then, so what we need to do before we do all that stuff, uh, customer wants you to buy, to add a uh, new SSD to the PC and clone their operating system onto it. So let's start by installing a new SSD. I don't know why it has us installing the new SSD first. Okay. So we'll go ahead and install storage. Put that in, which is great because we can't see anything. We didn't turn the computer around. Like, it, this is the best technician ever. <laughs> just installing stuff in the back. Just like, just blindly just fiddling around the other side. Install accessories, right? So basically, I uh, remove components. Uh, we'll put the side panel back on <laughs> from the wrong side again. Um, I still haven't bought any upgrades or uh, stuff because I don't have the money to do that yet. 
clone wrap up C, right? So what we'll do is we'll install tools that put that guy in there. Yep, yep, you're gonna walk me through plugging in every flipping cable again. Honestly, at this point, instead of walking me through and making sure I can click in each freaking box, it should just auto install things for you. Oh, thank you for telling me to click on the monitor. Like the these hand holding things, especially after you've been playing this game for a while, are very irritating. Yeah, so it's well, the only thing I can install is this cloner. Wonder if it's actually going to have us go into the BIOS and change the boot order. Now the OS clone, clone app is installed. You need to clone OS to the USSD for that. You'll need to see OS cloning USB drive. Okay. Then why didn't I just use that? Because most OS cloner boot drives, I've been able to just boot to it and go clone, clone that to that. Like, why do I have to install stuff onto the heart? That 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 doesn't no. I just stick the thumb drive in, I boot it to that thumb drive, and then I tell it to say this drive to that drive, push a button, and things happen. Like, I don't need to go on and boot their computer first. I can take both of the drives out and put it in a completely different computer. Like, <laughs> boom. And then if I'm running it on this thing, why did I have to put the thumb drive in? Because if I put it on the on the hard drive and I cloned it that way, I can I can clone it this way, but it's either the thumb drive or this. I don't need both. Let's yeah, so now it's going to set me into this thing. So I'm very confused. Whatever. Uh, please select the source of actually installing operating system 2. Okay, so we want to go to there and install. Okay. So basically, I went into the operating system. Onto the, I don't know. This is a very weird cloning it's not it's not the way I would do it. I have I have this cool little actually I have a little uh dongle on my on my thing that you can't even see. Um that like for an SSD like that, I plug it into it, plug it into a USB drive, and then do it that way. It's really fast. Especially clone the OS to the operating the new hard drive this uh, customer's PC will be already contained the storage device you need to clone the OS too, so be sure to check the PC stats for wherever you need to buy a new part or not. Uh, okay. I'm, I'm done with this stupid thing. Yep, you're out of here. All right, let's do this upgrade here. So these upgrades, honestly, this is probably my worst, worst happiness, right? So basically, uh, 3D can, uh, time spy score, right? You can see the 3D Mark score, you need to install 3D Mark app, insert the USB drive in, uh, master sphere power on, and install 3D Mark. Okay. Okay, I gotta go. Okay, here's your 3D Mark. Okay, I know, I didn't do it yet. Install it. All right, I just, I did this, like, literally two seconds ago. Like, I, I, I know, I know, I click on the yellow thing, and then I click on the other yellow thing, and then, and then I hit the, and then, okay, what, oh, I need to, oh, power on the PT. Oh, all right. <laughs> get it, game. <laughs> oh, just let me play. All right, open the app. All right, let me guess. Only one app on here. Oh, look, that's weird. I had a bunch of apps on here a minute ago. Demonicles and excessive. Double click to open a 3D mark. Then we'll run it. Oh, that is horrible. Seven frames. <laughs> oh, wow. 
Pretty sure integrated graphics would run better than this. So I will say, like, playing through the game, though, if you get a, a mission or a job to do, like, one of these for the, the time price stuff, like, I, I can hate doing it. Oh, it's not even going to let me leave. I got I have to watch this freaking, this, this <laughs> seven frame per second mess. Oh, I can't even escape away from it. I'm so sorry that you're all watching this. And if your computer does this with Time Spy, I'm even more sorry. <laughs> Please, seek immediate help. All joking aside, some people, like, if your computer does what it needs you to do, uh, then I, I'm all for it. Yeah, it, it's about making sure that, you know, you, you know the, the computer will do what it, you need it to do and for the, the cheapest amount of money that you can. That's the, that's the real trick. We're up to 22 frames. So that's moving, but it, it's not moving anymore. So that's, that's scaring me. I'm, I'm really happy about watching it. You have successfully run 3D Mark on customer's computer and have given scores for both GPU and CPU and a combined overall benchmark score. Uh, CPU score is 6,499. Okay. Tell the final uh, CPU score after running the benchmark. Here you can find the final GPU score. <laughs> the GPU sucks. The Ryzen 7 8 core, that's not a bad. Yeah, the 750 Ti gamer. Here you can find the final combined score of the GPU and CPU. I think I think the uh, the GPU may be dragging it down a little bit. Now the score is known and displayed here. You can test a new uh, need to be done changes as CPU and GPU have been made. Uh, left click on the monitor, select the monitor, exit the application. Okay, I think. Oh, it's all part ranking. You're just gonna install a bunch of crazy crap on this guy's computer. <laughs> Double click on the app. All right. Uh, so it's 750. All right. So basically, to meet the customer's minimum requirements. You need to buy the uh, DFL Radeon R928 uh, great uh, 3G. Anything less will not be powerful enough. Right? So we need a, an R9280 GR8 3G. Okay? Part ranking should be used as a rough guide. Only other factors like different memory speeds and overclocking can affect the final uh, 3D mark score, right? Almost there. Top and order DFL. Everything. Uh, GR. Uh, R90 GFR 3G. But we will buy one of these bad boys right here. And then we will do that for the time by guy. And we are going to buy that, and it can come in tomorrow, and it can sit there and wait for making me look at that picture. All right, so we got that stuff. All right, now this guy. Ha -ha. All right, so I added more things to the shop. list. All right, so we're going to go. We already got the CPU processor. Do a power supply. I think I have a 750 watt that I was going to put in here. So we'll do do a nice 750 watt because we are we are we did improve the uh the video card a little bit get a little bit more power in here i did order some extra 650s you know 550s and 450s just so i have them uh so that way if you know i need to you know put somebody's computer in quickly uh, i kind of already have the, the have the power supply or if i if i find uh, ones that are on the, on for sale at spares of parts, I can just basically push up. You know, oh, like I already have power supply in stock. All right, so we're gonna do this. We're gonna install the next thing. Uh, we're gonna install storage. I'll we'll install this A data here, and it's gonna go into the back. Go ahead and cable that into its places. Have that thing going on. Do this. Start plugging this stuff in too, because we're going to need that in a second. 
Uh, and then I had, I think I had some pace fans for this thing. I think I'm going to try 140 first. Yeah, so I put a 140 in the back. So we'll get some nice fans in the back. So. And maybe I'll get three of them in here. We're gonna we're just gonna put a bunch of fans in it because uh we can. Oh, that is not what I want to do there. Oh yeah. So if you see that red thing, that means you could put a fan there, but that thing's in the way. So uh I could have had more 140s. Uh you draw 120s. Oh, there's a 140. Yeah, I thought I thought I could put 140s in it. So uh, I, I like the I like putting the biggest fan I can into a system, uh, simply because the larger the fan is, the slower it has to turn to move the same amount of air. Uh, so they're quieter. So it will be great. All right, so we got we got some extra fans in there. We got all kinds of stuff. Uh, so we'll go ahead and we'll power this bad boy on. Uh, let's go and hold F2. Uh, we're going to go and overclock. We're going to turn our X and T on. Uh, oh, this may not have been overclockable. Uh, so we may not have been able to do overclock with that, uh, but you can usually you can turn X and P on, and that will count as an overclock, I, I, if I remember right. So we'll do this. Uh, we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll add some programs. Oh, I'm not going to add anything without my my thing. Cool. Right. Do that. So we want to add 3D Mark. We want to add lighting. Want to add overclock? Come on. Let's uh, see. Uh, uh, we can add Cinna bench. It doesn't really matter. OS cloner. I think that's all that we add here. We'll start this guy up. We'll let it run. That should be fine. While we're doing that, we'll go ahead. We will. Select all. Oh, wait. <laughs> yeah, I didn't actually plug the fans in. So we'll let that thing finish running. It should be good. All I did was basically over overclock the... Uh, or basically turn on the XMP profile. So uh, let's go back in this guy. Uh, cables. And we'll just daisy chain these guys all together. That way, all that should be good. We'll go ahead and turn the power back on. Look at that. Now it's all fancy RGB to, to next week. Eventually, we'll get RGB for the the uh, the pants or the uh, the water cooling too. All right, so now we'll go back into our lighting. Uh, we will select all again. Uh, all you gotta do is just change this to you know, pretty much anything. Temperature, I like temperature. Uh, then you do like low color is green, high color is red. And then uh, we'll save that. And then you can do the, actually we'll do, we'll do three mark again, or we'll run. Then you see now, now the, uh, it'll change. So now it's, it's in the middle somewhere. So it's, uh, you know, it's not overheating. 
but we'll get a 3D Mark score out of it also, which is probably a good thing. It was doing 35, which is which is probably a little bit better. I wonder if it turns off if I start closing the case and putting stuff back on it. Do you, do you die if I put the side panel back on? Or die if I put the dust filter? No, probably not. Uh, we don't want to put the drag bay in. Nobody likes you, drive bay. It's it's a, a, a better looking computer, I think. You obviously, do a little bit more with it, the colors and stuff like that. But down to 18 frames, the CPU's not doing super well. It's all right. It'll, it'll live. It'll, it'll survive. So we'll do all that stuff. Once that gets done, we're gonna rip it out. We'll throw it out in the front of the shop, and we'll uh, we'll try to sell. Oh, I should have I should have checked to see if I actually sold anything else. I had two other machines out there. Oh yeah, I sold both of them. So look at that. Yeah, got a little bit of profit on both of those. Slowly, slowly starting to make a little bit of money. So and then, but so then we have our time spy number here. So now we have our our that three D mark. We're gonna rip it out. We're gonna take it out front. Put that in. Boy, one. All right, so we do that. So you'll see PCs named. Uh, we have, so the XMP counts as overclocking, and we customize the LED lights. Uh, so we can, you know, eventually we'll be able to do a lot more stuff. So if you really want to get a little bit, but if every one of these little steps is only 50 bucks, then but you see now, like all that stuff we put into this thing, uh, it wants to sell it for twelve uh, two thousand four hundred fifty-four dollars. Uh, so uh, right now we're we're basically making, uh, uh, yeah. So labor is eight hundred eighteen dollars. Like you know we're we're doing okay for that, but we want to change that to uh to, to do better. Uh, thirty six. Seventy-five. Save that, right? So there. Now we have a fifty percent chance to sell it, uh, but we'll make a small amount of profit. <laughs> so, uh, and that's really how you do it. You throw a couple of, of good parts into a machine, especially a couple of newer good parts, uh, and you can really, really start racking up some some uh, numbers there. This guy here, I think I need to install. Uh, a graphics card. I think we have, so I can throw it, that in there. Um, we'll throw this 5.7 in there. So we'll throw a 5.70 in there. So this has already got uh, that on there. What does it have? Does it not have RAM? I don't think it has RAM. Memory, uh, yeah. So we'll do we'll do this one. All the other memory. All right. So all that stuff is there. So we also need to install a power supply. I think this one needed a. Oh, this is needs a, a special. It needs an SFX power supply. Okay, well, you're going to stay here a little bit longer then. Because uh, I ordered the wrong power supply. Power supply. SFX. So I need an SFX by 50. We'll go ahead and add that. We'll check out. Buy it now. Take your plan. Continue shopping. Uh, this one, what is this one? Drop. What's wrong with you? Uh, Tour Master. Uh, what is wrong? Uh, Corsair Obsidian Series. Corsair Obsidian Series.
Yeah, so it's missing. The processor's broken. I7-7800. All right, easy enough. I think I ordered that. We're going to find out here real soon. All right, install i7-7800X. Uh, CPU processor. Look at that. I already have one. It was like I planned for it. All right, so that is all good. So let's install. Let's go. Let's go with tools and probably some thermal paste, maybe. Maybe just a little bit of thermal paste. All right, install. Let's see, and then what you can do too, because I think I have extra uh, speed cooling, because I did actually order some extra. Um, coolers uh we can try to see we can either throw one of those back in there or we can throw one of these guys back in here so we can put it up here though okay so this stuff is nothing's in the way what's in the way oh that's what's in the way what are you doing So we'll go ahead and we'll put those guys in up there. Get a nice water cooling system on it. Probably throw another couple of fans in it. And you can literally just throw a handful of case fans in, and things too. Uh, and just, just make it doesn't hurt anything like uh, and it's just giving you a couple extra extra dollars because you're basically you're getting the fan and then you're getting the, this basically adding a premium for putting the fan in it's great doll another 120 <laughs> Get another one in, another bottle. Nope, uh, doesn't look like we can. Nope, 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 don't, don't like any of those. All right, I guess we're not doing that. Go ahead, plug that guy in there. Plug that guy into that one. Plug this guy in. Oh, nope, you don't want to plug in there? You want to plug in over here? All right, we'll just plug you in there then. Plug you and here. Looks like that is everything that we needed. So it's already should have operating system everything. I'm just going to literally just throw everything on this one and just throw it out the front door. Just basically making sure it will boot. Everything's up and running. I could go in and add the, the, uh, the uh, color profile to it, but it will be okay. Dash filter back in. Oh, are you going to? Oh, I got to take the site off again. Stupid thing. I for sometimes if you have a dust filter and you don't put them back in, like it won't let you put the damn thing back together. Oh no, it's in the front. Okay, that makes more sense. Sure, why not? Why would you let me put the dust filter back on? Because I I can't sell it like that. It won't let me. It's like oh, the dust filter's missing. It's the end of the world. All right, everything's up and running. Oh, wrong door. I always go to the wrong door. That's one we'll just call POS4. Oh, it'll all work out. So this one's 1681. So we'll go to uh, 29. 
3020 sure nope too high can I not mask mathing is hard oh because I'm doubling it they're they're uh 824 so it's 2520 okay That would probably help. All right. There you go. Sell that bad boy. All right. So those are both gone. We'll go ahead and hit this button here. The clone drive is done. We'll collect that. We're at level six now. Go ahead and delete that bad boy. Upgrade. Uh, delete that. Okay. Uh, delete that. Uh, fix. Many thanks for Terry Bite. I work well. Uh, very well, indeed, perhaps too well. I'm so occupied with watching live camera feeds. I forgot to check the weather forecast. The computer was subject to quite a large storm. One minute I was watching a fine example of the pigeonous fetus, and the next it was a loud pop, and all the camera feeds went offline. I had to look out the window, and there was a large cloud of smoke coming from the tree where I was keeping the computer. I finally got it indoors, but it's not turning on. Full stick the RCUS chat tell me that our spy motherboard are most likely to have been damaged. It probably need replacing. I'm hopeful it can be repaired. As it's captured some fascinating footage in lesser spot computer. I think this is very unusual. Uh -huh. Replace motherboard and replace power supply. Okay. So we'll accept that bad boy. So we should have uh, I have a power supply, but I'll order another one. Uh replace the motherboard power supply, that's fine. A PC stats. I'll go find his motherboard real quick. Uh, replacing motherboards is kind of a pain in the butt. Uh, and there's a reason I don't normally do them. On, like uh, if, if one of the parts and spares computers have it. Because it's just, it's a pain. It's a pain. Because uh, you literally are taking everything out. And until you have the thing to pull the, the all the screws out, it makes you take every one of the, the standoffs out before you can... Uh, go go any further. It's a pain. Uh, Francis and QT cuts slowing down the road. New business high street. Remind me of being here about the uh, council parking rates. Anyway, I work for the computers for you. Have a job for you. I uh, use for friends in the area. Found a computer in my client database. Odd game. Uh, there's no customers in. No harm in that. Bunch over at QT cuts. Customized to fit our image. Not ugly about your computer. Bad for business. Could you, uh, be a deer and paint it purple. Maybe get some nice parts stuck on there too. That'd be grand. Just don't paint over the glass. Let me know if they're interested, love. I can drop it off at the shop. All right. So we'll do that. Uh, so basically, just heart emojis and purple. We can do that. Perry Dills incoming. Broken graphics card. Uh, we can look at that real quick. More more stuff. We got a 1660 Ti in now. That's cool. Uh, greetings at old uncle hip, end up uh, walking the hip, uh, hippie trail. Doesn't urge for me time. Place to help me find authentic uh, self with the distraction of modern life. Okay, get, uh, better remind you not to get neglect bongle, right? Nice chat uh, ratings last year. I hate to see that dip after the fire. Get it installed and check it out. Don't want to get stuck with the cleaning and scanning jobs, right? So we'll go ahead. Okay, we're, we're done with you, but buddy. Bongo application unlocked. So Bongo is basically, it, it's how you, you keep up with your ratings, right? And you want to keep, the higher your rating is, the better chance you have, you, you get a, a premium on top of things too. Uh, so Bongo's review site where customers will rate and feedback both good and bad. You can see the current rating out of five stars at the top of the screen. Uh, better rating will have very lucrative jobs available. It's called an app to see what the customers are saying about you and try to keep it happy. Customer reviews are fickle and things people are, uh, are not always upfront about what they want. Keep an eye on the customers, say in their emails, I'll often uh, mention hidden objectives. Make sure you do a good job of bongo rating could suffer. The thermal app lives in your tablet, can be used to detect overheating components inside of a PC. Right? So if we go back into here, we close this guy out. Uh, if we go to. Bongo's not on here. Yeah. Maybe I have to leave and come back. 
select wallpaper. Oh, I can select a wallpaper. So I can change my wallpaper here. I can actually select the one. So this is actually my desktop, which is one of the cool things about this this thing. This game is it actually pulls the desktop from your computer and basically puts it up here. So this is a thumbnail I made for me playing Tectonica. And uh actually uh think looking at that, I probably I'm gonna I'm gonna do this one. Uh, just because that, that should make the icons pop a little bit easier. And it's a cat. Uh all right, so uh none of that stuff is helpful. Um is it over here? Uh, add remove programs. Uh, bongo. There it is, Bongo. I, I figured it would be on your tablet. Most of the stuff we've been dealing with has been on the tablet. So there's Bongo, right? So Shady Acres. We got just over four stars based on the last 10 reviews, right? So Chuck Woods, right? One star, took my PC to be fixed this morning, only to find the place was literally on fire. <laughs> Terrifically unprofessional. Don't think you realize how busy people are. Uh, nice local business, friendly and efficient. Dropped my PC. Took PC to the shop, they fixed it. 11 of 10 would drop again. Don't drop your computer, it's bad for it. PC came back too clean, and I uh, made best the rest of my room to match. It's growing like a dying Wookiee. Now it purrs like a kitten, thinks. Fix my machine. All right, so I got a bunch of fours, a bunch of fives. You really want to, you really want five stars. Uh, and the only way to really do that is to read through your emails. And when people send you stuff like this, you know, it's like you, you have to kind of read into it. And sometimes they'll be like, oh, you know, I really like green or I wish my computer was green. They won't ask you to do it, but they oh, I really wish it was this, you know. Um, so, but I think with that, uh, I think we're okay for the day. I think we're going to go ahead and close out. And then uh, hopefully you guys are having fun and uh, we will continue on continuing on uh, and you guys have a good one. Uh, if you do like the videos, please go ahead and think about throwing a like on them. Uh, if you have a comment, you have a request for a computer build or some special thing for me to do or, or a game you would like to see a computer build for, throw that stuff down in the comments. Um, and then if you want to see more of this stuff or more of the other things I'm doing on the channel right now, uh, go ahead and consider throwing a subscribe on the channel. And then uh, we will catch you guys next time.